check out what three of our clever viewers did to make baking and crafting easier without spending a dime. I love to craft, but my crafting area is always a mess. But by using an oatmeal container, I can create a hassle-free way to access my ribbons. I'm going to start by cutting a rectangle out of the side. I'm going to wrap the container in some decorative paper to make it look a bit more pretty. And then I'm going to open it up and start inserting my ribbon. And this will be a great way to keep all my ribbons organized without them twisting, make them easy to pull, and without them like rolling around and unraveling. And there you have it, Rachel, my DIY ribbon holder. Hi, Rachel. My name's Amanda, and this is my daughter, Maple. And we love to cook cookies together. Good job! We often found that when we were making our cookies, they were spreading out, and then they sometimes get burnt around the edges, and that's no fun. So we started doing cookies in muffin tins. And for maple, yeah, I put them in little, um, this is an ice cube tray and it's perfect size for maple. See maple, you wanna show Rachel? She loves them. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> My two roommates and I work up a pretty big appetite for pizza after snowboarding for sometimes nine hours straight. But one pie is never enough to feed three hungry 25 year olds. This is a quick trick I came up with in order to fix that daunting task of only being able to cook one pie at a time. Now we can cook two pies on one cookie sheet. The first thing you want to do is get a pizza cutter and cut the pies directly in half. Place the cut portion towards the outside of the pan. By doing this, it helps use the entire surface of the pan. Although the pies are overlapping, it's okay because once you put it in the oven, it'll bake the whole thing. Pizza's ready, guys. More for me.